Patent Drafting Writing a Patent Application In this video we will cover what is a good patent application, the outcome expected from it. Writing patent application is a specialized skill. How patent attorney write or draft patent application. Important things about claims. Important things about drawings. Writing patent specification. And we'll also see how patent attorney works on your invention. Let's get started. Patent drafting is the most important stage in the entire life cycle of a patent. This is where your invention takes the form of a patent application. If you consider the life cycle of a patent, the patent application is the only way you as an inventor communicate with the patent office. The only way to protect your invention by intellectual property like patents is to convince the patent office that your invention is patentable and satisfies all patent requirements. This is only possible by submitting a well-written patent application. Of course, there would be other opportunities to communicate with patent office like response to examination reports, doing amendments to patent application, office actions and hearings. But that communication comes at the latter stages, that is after examination of patent application. So a well-written patent application is the only document that would be examined and is an important factor to decide the fate of your invention. And hence the ultimate importance goes to this patent drafting stage. To write a good patent application for your invention, the efforts taken at the earlier stages for creating comprehensive invention disclosure and the patentability search report, if such search is conducted, is going to help us in a great deal providing us a better clarity about novel and non-obvious part of our invention and the closest possible prior arts. Now let's understand what is a good patent application. What is the outcome expected from a good patent? A good patent application written by an experienced patent agent or a patent attorney should adequately cover the scope of your invention and should survive not only through the examination phase till the grant of patent, but also it should survive the commercialization phase where actual money is made by licensing or selling patent rights where the competitor should not be able to design around your patent. We should be able to monetize the patented invention by producing patented invention without competition, by licensing it to other companies to get royalty payments, or by completely selling the patent rights to other businesses. It really requires a very scientific and balanced approach to write a good patent application around the novel and non-obviousness feature of the invention that provides the broadest possible protection for the invention. Now let's consider a question which almost every inventor has. Can I write my patent application on my own? Patent drafting is a specialized skill. It requires years of practice and experience with patent law to draft a good patent application. A patent is a techno-legal document having consideration to technical as well as legal side of the invention. Patent drafting is a complex job. There are many rules, practices and requirements established by patent law for drafting, patent claims, writing detailed descriptions, writing different embodiments of the invention, describing the inventive step or non-obviousness part of the invention, etc. Now these things a first-timer or inexperienced patent writer may miss and hence end up not getting proper protection for the invention or sometimes even rejection of patent application. Writing a patent application as a project report or a technical thesis on your own and submitting it to patent office would be a mistake which can cause loss of opportunity to patent your invention as it will not protect your invention as you expected it to do and it will probably not be worth the time, effort and costs. There are rules to be followed about many things while writing a patent application. Rules about writing title of the invention, rules for writing abstract, how claims should be written, how detailed description should be written, rules for the drawings, rules for numbering the drawings, rules for pages and many more. It is very likely that the first timer or do-it-yourself patent writer would be making some obvious mistakes that could prove costly in the longer term. Hence, it is highly recommended by even patent office itself to hire a patent agent or a patent attorney for filing your patent application. 
Even if we keep aside the complexities and accuracy required for filing the patent application at patent office, considering you are drafting or writing patent application on your own, a patent application drafted by a non-experienced or a first-timer or do-it-yourself patent writer will find it difficult to meet expectations which are mentioned below. To satisfy all patent rules, practices and requirements established by patent law, use the wisdom from case laws that has happened in past, cover broadest possible scope of the invention, be extremely accurate while writing the claims of the invention, as the simple use of words like comprising or consisting changes the scope of invention altogether, covering all possible embodiments of invention, supporting claims in detailed description, and most importantly, protecting the aspect of invention which is commercially important in patent commercialization phase, that is after grant of patent, and many more such things to be ensured in a patent application. It is very clear from the list above that it would be very difficult for a first-timer or do-it-yourself patent writer to match the quality, accuracy and comprehensive coverage of scope of invention in the patent application drafted by an experienced patent agent or patent attorney. The cost of patent drafting The cost of drafting a patent application varies in a great deal as it depends on multiple factors like field of invention, the complexity of invention and the experience of patent agent or attorney working on that invention. The cost can range from $2000 for a simple invention to $10,000 for a very complex invention in US and it is in the similar range in other countries and other currencies. The time required to draft a patent application. It takes about one to two weeks time for a patent attorney to draft a patent application for an invention. It can certainly take more time based on the complexity, the length of detailed description and availability of patent attorney's time. How patent attorney write or draft your patent application? You may be surprised to know that the patent drafting does not begin with the title of the invention or the abstract. In fact, most patent attorneys or agents first draft patent claims. The reason patent attorney starts with writing claim first because once we have complete set of claims providing appropriate protection to the invention and which are approved by you as an inventor, then writing remaining parts of the patent application like detailed description, abstract and summary becomes easier as these parts generally follow the boundaries set by claims. Let's understand claims in more details. Claims decide the boundaries of the protection that you would be getting for your invention. Claims are used to enforce your patent. Claims help decide whether the competitor is infringing on your patent or not. Claims are closely examined at the patent examination phase at patent office. Claims should be providing specific and accurate information about our invention. And hence, claims are the most difficult part of the patent application to write. The claims should not be too broad because those would be anticipated by existing prior arts. And the claims should not be too narrow because competitors would be easily able to design around your invention. Every claim should find its support in specification. Important things to know about patent drawings. It is required to include drawings which help in explanation of invention whenever it is appropriate to do so. The drawings plays a much more important role than just illustrating the invention to be patented. The drawings are also used to define the scope of the disclosure of the invention and claims of the invention. If in case your invention disclosure has not explicitly included some features of your invention, but they are present in the drawings of your invention, then the drawings can be used as a basis to support the claim that talks about that particular feature. In other words, claims can find support in drawings even though it is not explicitly mentioned in the detailed description of the invention. In general, drawings include flowcharts, graphs, table, perspective view of the device, front view, top view, side view of the elements, the sectional views of the elements, and the illustrations of invention use. Now let's understand writing patent specification. The patent specification or patent disclosure is a written description of the invention. The patent specification should Describe the invention with accuracy and clarity. Explain 
how the invention functions provide sufficient information about novelty and non obviousness of the invention provide sufficient information for a skilled person in the art to practice the invention without requiring additional research it should support the claims of the patent and it should support in proving infringement of the invention and just like claims and drawings of patent there are many rules and standards for writing other parts of patent specifications like title of the invention references of the patent application abstract background of the invention brief summary of the invention brief description of drawings detailed description of the invention etc for more information on these topics some of the documents that you may wish to read are patent act patent manual or patent rules given at the patent office website when a patent attorney writes the patent application considering all these factor it would be sent to you for a review and any suggestions or corrections which are allowable by law are incorporated in the patent document and the patent application would be filed in patent office hope you receive some value from this video today for more information on patent related topics you may consider subscribing to our channel or visit our website patentattorneyworldwide.com thank you for your time take care